Okay, Sunday, June 10th, 2018. We arrived up here Friday afternoon, about three o'clock. Set up the boat, set up Mike's trailer, set up the fire. Yesterday, it poured all day. It started raining Friday night, poured all day Saturday. And Mike wasn't feeling well Saturday, as a matter of fact, when we got up in the morning. Had breakfast and he had a really bad uh, bout of being dizzy. So we spent the day just kind of relaxing in the trailer. So then this morning we woke up and it was 37 degrees. There was snow all over the boat and the, and the cars, ice everywhere. And so we decided to at least wait till this afternoon to, to take off. But as it turns out, Mike's still not 100%, so we decided to take the day off again today. Today's Sunday, the 10th, and uh, getting ready for tomorrow. Got the fire going, and had chili for lunch, delicious chili made by Bev. Everybody enjoyed it. And we'll see how it goes tomorrow, see if we can get some fishing duty in. Okay, today is June 11th, 2018. And we're starting to fish. A couple days late, but we're on our way. We're on. All right, so first day of fishing. We arrived on June 8th, about 3 p.m. Mike and I set up camp. It was about 60 degrees when we arrived here. The lake is about 60%. There's no docking, no marina docking. So we have to launch each day. So today is June 11th. We came in and got, we were in the water about 9 a.m. fishing. Temperature is about 50 degrees. It's really, really comfortable. Slight to no breeze. The water, it's got a little ripple, but not much. It's really comfortable out here. There was no fishing on Saturday. We got here Friday, no fishing Saturday. Uh, it was raining pretty hard. Mike wasn't feeling well, so we just took the day off. Sunday, Saturday night, and early Sunday morning, there was snow. The boat was covered with snow and um, poured all day, so Sunday we didn't fish. Well, today's Monday, we're out and finally getting our fishing going. Uh, Ray brought firewood, Mike brought the fifth wheel, and I brought the boat. So it's kind of a three way deal we got going here. And other than that, we're looking to catch our limit today with any luck. Yeah, the limit starts with catching the first one. Yeah, so it's 9.48. We haven't, I think we've had, what, three free bites, but nothing on the line yet. Uh, what a skill to test today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, it'll be real fishermen today. <laughs> or we have lots of food we brought. Plenty of food, plenty of food. We got no more junk food than 7-Eleven. <laughs> I know it's early in the day, Ray, but that over here or is it over there? camera's on you now, buddy. <laughs> Tell sorry, us. Sorry about that, camera. <laughs> <laughs> it won't hurt it. I don't think. Yeah. I hope I don't break it. Yeah. It's a new camera. Later in the week, it's supposed to get very nice out here. Seventies and. Zero rain for the rest of the week. Won't Participation. Nice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far we don't have a lot of now, now we need the fish to participate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll chat at you later. Phone's sitting down. Okay, Ray. It's gone. Gone. Uh, Spit it. That quick. I'm on your job. I All guess right. so. Talk to you later. Okay. Bringing one in. Actually the biggest. Got him? <laughs> All right. We've got turned around so we can't get out. Hooked on the side. There we go. We step over the box. The rod's in, the fish is in. Pretty fish, huh? Yeah, beauty. Need a rag? Right in the lip. Okay, good catch. Right in the lip. 
Easy, easy to get the hook out. What? Yeah. Huh? yeah, we got a nice view of Mount McLaughlin today. Clouds burn off. It's got to be around 65 degrees. Very comfortable. The water is very, very smooth right now. Today's Tuesday, June 12th, and today we're fishing outside of Red Rock, up, out in the channel a little bit, having really good success. So we'll see how the day goes, but it's a beautiful day. Okay, Tuesday, today is Tuesday, June 12th, and fishing report for today. A little bit late because once we got in the water this morning, we were hitting fish right away. Didn't take a break. We were in the water. This morning at 8 a.m. or 8:15, 8:15, and uh, started catching fish almost immediately. I think the first fish was what 8:20, 8 minutes, something like that. About 8:20. So I'll get with the totals. So Ray caught four, Mike caught six, and I caught five. The temperature when we came out was 50 degrees. Again, the water was glass, no wind, and we caught our last fish at what, 10 o'clock? Mm -hmm, 10 o'clock, we'd caught all, all our fish. So it's about an, what, an hour, 45 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, okay, hour, 45 minutes. It's been, the weather's perfect. Yesterday and today, this morning when we came out, the water was like glass, but temperature is great. Everything's going well. Last night we had pork chops corn and a cob, baked potatoes, and salad for dinner. Had a good fire. There was no wind at a campsite last night. It was really comfortable. Everything went, everything's been perfect, except for the first two days were a little rough. Right? Yeah. So, Ray, anything? No, my oh. line finally found out how to catch fish. <laughs> yeah, Ray came in with four. It's, it's doing good. Oh, the showers. Showers are all right? Showers are all right. Yeah. Other than the fact that the wall is too darn short and everything still gets kind of damp. Okay. It'd be nice if they had the, a wall a little wider. Plenty of hot water though. Oh yeah. Good, good. Uh, Fish tonight for dinner. Fish tonight for dinner. Sounds good. All right. Okay. We're on. All right. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, June 13th. 2018 and this is the fishing report for today. So we've completed fishing for the day. It's 7, excuse me, it's 10, 17 in the morning. We put in at 8, 10 this morning. The temperature when we put in was 48 degrees. The current temperature is 65 degrees. There was slight wind, very little ripple in the lake we put in. Now it's getting pretty rough and the wind has picked up. Fishing off of Red Rock Point this year, last or the last two days anyway, versus inside the cove a bit. This is a new place for us, but we've been doing really well. So after th three days, we've caught 45 fish total. The total count for today was Rick at four, Mike at eight, Ray at three, and the total count for the three days. Rick at 18, Mike at 19, and Ray at 8. So far in these three days, Mike's caught the largest fish, and it was the second to the last fish caught today. It came in at almost 18 inches, right at 18 inches. Ray caught, uh, or at least he had a, a really large one on the line. So why don't you tell us about bringing that, trying to bring that one in? What happened? Well, it kept bending my pole really hard, and it finally ended up breaking the line right off. Right. You know, well, not even the line. He broke the little metal piece that the line hangs on it to bent it out, Rick said. Yeah, it destroyed all his gear. And um, so, not only that, we determined that um, the drag on his line, or his pole, was too tight. So there's no give for the fish at all. So the fish was just hitting hard line, and that's what destroyed all the gear. The clevis on the line was 
that's was bent open, that's tied to the line. And I've never seen that in all the time we've been fishing. A fish that strong, that just broke the hook, but he bent the clevis open off of the line, or for the, um, the line attaches to the, the clevis, whatever that is. It's, it's, called, called, it's called a snap swivel. Swivel, yeah. So the snap of the snap swivel it's actually bent open. It's normally hooked like this with a hole through the center where the line goes through. That was pretty incredible. So I'm guessing that was probably the catch. Yeah. No, that's life. Right. So <laughs> Kendrick still holds the record. That may have touched it, which I think was 20 or 21 inch. Yeah. 21 inch, I think. Yesterday we had fish for dinner. This is another first this year. We cooked the fish on the grill without rolling it in or having it wrapped in aluminum foil. We set it on aluminum foil and it came out pretty good, didn't it? Nice. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And with the bone, easier than it does with the foil, the same thing. Right, right. It was it cooked to perfection. We had baked potatoes, corn in the cob, and we had an ice cream cone after we had done fishing. <laughs> after we dropped one of them on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Almost too. <laughs> We're doing uh, <laughs> the ice cream shuffle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It, it kind of looked like there'd been livestock in there, and yeah, had left this little <laughs> I, what, ice uh, ice it cream hit the puddle. Floor, that's exactly what it looked like. Yeah. A cow had been in there. <laughs> <laughs> Right out of the scene of King of Queens, where he takes his cone, he turns around, bop. <laughs> Pretty much. He turned right around, and the guy said, here, I'll get you another one. <laughs> you want another soft serve? <laughs> but this time, he put it in a cup. Yeah, so it made all the fat boys happy, so we, we, went, we went away happy. Yesterday, we went down to Little Hyatt. It's full. Water's going over the dam at Little Hyatt. Hyatt itself is it's down about 40%. It still looks terrible. The lake here, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the lake here is about 60% when we got here. So it's down considerably from what we had last year, but up from the previous year, which was, was almost empty, right? But it's 60% is decent. It doesn't. It looks nice. The lake looks nice. You can't do any can't moor, but I think we found out that it's easier for us to put the boat in and out every day than it is to, to moor, because at distance we have to carry our gear back and forth. Plus the maneuvering into the spot. Yeah, into the spot, yeah. yeah. The captain isn't too steady at the helm, so we, it's always a balancing act to get it in. Especially when you have enough space at your space to, to put the boat. Right, right. You don't have to park it somewhere and walk in. Exactly. Anything else you can think of? Right. Very few people out here for fishing today. Nobody on the shore, which yesterday there were people on the shore. That boat's gone. I didn't really see much of anything else. I don't see any boats over at the boat boat over there. There's one boat. The campground is virtually empty. In fact, the water sites, there's probably four or five people on what's probably a dozen water sites on the, on the lake that well, it's just vacant. So, slow year for the lot, for the resort, but so far a great year for us. After all. Okay, time for the fishing report. It's Friday, after, Friday morning, 10-15. And yesterday the fishing was really good and did not do a fishing report yesterday. So for Thursday, yesterday, June 14th, I had 11, Mike had 5, and Ray had 2. When we came out, the temperature was 48 degrees. And at the end of the day, when we, by the time we pulled out, it was 65. Out here, 65 is very, very comfortable. We were in the water yesterday at 8.30 in the morning. We were out at 11 a.m., so it was about two and a half hours of fishing time, total fishing time, to get our, our, our fish. And for supper last night, we had trout. And this year we're co cooking the trout on aluminum foil, but we're not rolling it up, 
so it's more of a, a broiler type effect and it seems to be a lot better it than seems to be really good. rolling it up. One one thing he hasn't said about so far is that we caught three of these uh, uh, bass. bass fish. We, we, that's why our numbers won't add up. If you had added the numbers up, there's 19 instead of 15. We had four we didn't keep. Today, today I think if it's not a record, it's close to being a record for the amount of time we spent fishing. Total time from when we got in the water till we had our limit, which is 15 fish on a boat, was one hour and 15 minutes. We were in the water at 8:23. Mike caught the first fish at 8:25, and we were out of the water at 9:38. We came out. There was 40. It was 47 degrees. It was pretty windy, and the water was choppy. And I think it's not much more than 47 right now. And it's like, like I said, 10:17 in the morning. So today's totals: I had four, Mike had eight, and Ray had three. Totals for the week: I had 34, Mike had 32. Ray had, um, excuse me, three, and for Ray, it's his personal best for the week. Uh, he came in at 13 for the week. I said you're total twice for the day. Oh, okay, all right. So, with you can the, edit it out. Okay. <laughs> all right. Good. Stop. Well, today's the last day of fishing, and it's complete already. Unfortunately, we all look forward to next year's event, but this year event was, uh, was quite fun. The fish this year tended to be a little smaller than they have in past years, uh, but they're all very good eating fish, about the right size. Uh, there were some big ones caught. Uh, I caught an 18-incher uh, on day, th day three, uh, just barely nibbled, didn't really feel very big until it got about halfway to the boat and then decided the boat was not where it w wanted to be, took off and it was uh, really exhilarating to, to hear the drag just spin out as the fish runs away and it comes back and runs away. Uh, yesterday uh, I caught a 16 and a half, 17 inch fish. Uh, it, was, it was exciting too. Today uh, Rick caught the biggest fish at probably 15, 15 and a half. Uh, it's always nice to catch the bigger fish, even though the little fish are, I think, again, far better to eat. It's been, uh, weather-wise, a pretty good pretty good year. And surprisingly, yesterday uh, took two and a half hours, but we got our limit. Uh, in years past, uh, the windy, choppy days, we don't always catch a lot of fish. Certainly not catch our limit, but this year it hasn't seemed to slow us down much. So that's about all I have. Henry. Today's weather reminded me of what fishing was when we first came to the lake. Gray and cloudy, we had a little bit of sprinkle rain, windy, cool, just a, an ordinary miserable day on the lake. But we caught <laughs> more fish than we have even when it was sunny and beautiful and flat, flat as glass the lake two or three of the days we were out here. Today was the worst weather-wise, but boy, it sure was the best day for fishing. All right. Okay, with well that, we'll get this thing ready to go in and get it on the on the trailer. Other thing that we might want to well just point out is this year, and I know I did earlier, that we launched the boat every day from the boat. We did not use the mooring, yeah. and it turns out that it's it turns out for us it looks like it's a better way to go and a Go yeah. forward, going forward basis. Yeah, we didn't take any long hikes this year, but we took some short hikes around the park. Uh, but we didn't take off, like hike up Mount Pitt or anything. So next year we'll have to endeavor to do more of that. But uh, it didn't happen this year. Yeah, I think we count, counted what uh, four bald eagles this year. Yeah, at least four, at least two pairs. Uh, there's one pair somewhere around. Uh, where the trailer is, 
because you can hear them in the afternoon chirping at each other uh, and it's so and then there's of course one pair right behind us here on the edge of the lake uh, we had a flyover this morning right after from the a fighter jet from probably Klamath Falls uh, doing a personal salute to us for the end of the week end of the fishing <laughs> trip I'm sure it was arranged by uh, Donald J. Trump for a, because record, for a record time for a record time <laughs> for getting it done they were a little late they were about five minutes late but you know you, they can't ex you can't expect the word to get back there that quick all right okay I think I see CNN over there in the shore waiting to interview us <laughs> <laughs> okay. Time to start the boat. <laughs>